Hey y'all, Rusty Fluger here. Man, aliens are so friggin' cool, man, that I, I just want to share all the information that I've learned through joining the MIB with you. So I thought today we'd go for a little ride around uh, San Andreas, and I'll show y'all the different uh, clues and signs and things that we've uh, gathered about aliens here. All right, so here we are at the top of Mount Chiliad. First things first, we got to check out this cable car. We've had reports of uh, cryptic uh, doodles, really, on this uh, cable car. And here it is right here by the cable cars. We got this uh, thing right here that uh, just appeared one day. And uh, I don't know who put it there or what it is uh, all about, but people have been trying to decipher it for quite some time now. What we've determined through our research is this shaft here looks a lot like a pyramid and so there might be subterranean dungeons and uh, tombs maybe maybe alien tombs or or something uh extraterrestrial we got a large icon of a cracking egg right there and we got a humanoid form looks like he's got a jetpack on and we also got a spaceship on the left side here so could this be some kind of map over here we got the cable cars. I'm just gonna look around a little bit, see if there's uh, anything else maybe that was left behind here or any other kind of clues or anything like that that might uh, lead us in the right direction here. Now it says, be warned, security cameras are operating in this area. Now, what I wanna know is who's got access to the security cameras because if we can look at the security camera, we can uh, figure out who drew this cryptic painting on the wall here and if we can get that information then we'll be one step closer to hopefully cracking this code here was it an alien could it have been an alien could have been an alien could have been somebody high off their mind could have been a graffiti artist could have been banksy i don't know but with that security footage we're one step closer to finding out we got another clue here uh, on top of Mount Chiliad that we're going to check out. So let's head over there right now. It's over at the observation point on Mount Chiliad. Okay, so here it is. All right, that red area straight ahead there. Let's get a closer look at it right there. Now that matches something that we just saw now. Going back to the uh, map that was drawn on the wall, that matches the uh, Illuminati looking eye thing. So that was put there for some odd reason now. Might be saying, uh, look at something we need to be looking at. So I'm going to look here through this telescope. I'm going to take a look here for a dollar. Okay, so... Is that something? It almost looks like a face right there that's covered up a little bit. Don't know if that's something. Let's see if we can see anything else while we're up here. Okay, I'm not seeing nothing. Okay, you're not seeing anything weird or anything uh, alien-like. All right, so it looks like we got at least our second clue here based on that map. So I think they're trying to, someone is trying to lead us somewhere. So let's see if we can get a better look at it. That's definitely the eye that was on the map in the same red paint. So going back over to the map here. See, there's a camera right there. That could have caught him coming in right there. Thought I heard an alien or something. I'm hearing things. Now we got some wetness here. Don't know. That might be some alien goo. I don't know. Might be alien goo. Might be uh, water, rainwater. Don't really know. But you never know. Could be alien goo.
There's something called the flower of life. It's a little uh, design type thing. There's a seed of life uh, design. There's a flower of life design. And there's something called the egg of life design. Now that can be found at the Mays Bank. So our next stop is going to be the Mays Bank. Here we are at the Mays Bank. And uh, what we're looking at here is going to be the fountain outside of the Mays Bank. Okay, right there in front of us is uh, we got some circular pattern. We almost have a lightning bolt pattern. And what this resembles right here is what we call the egg of life. Now, could this be in reference to the map with the egg at Mount Chiliad? Now we're gonna land here, take a closer look at it, and see what we can find out here. Okay, so right now I'm on the, the what we call the egg of life here. This does resemble a cracked egg we got. We can see from the aerial view, it looked like we had a crack in the egg of life. So basically the egg of life refers to some kind of sacred geometry. The symbol from sacred geometry uh, known as the egg of life is uh, from the golden ratio, which is, let's see what that is, golden ratio some kind of mathematic geometry type deal. Yeah, we're not uh, too sure what that's all about. Let me explore down here a little bit more, see if I can uh, find any other clues down here. Now we're going to head over to a UFO hippie camp near uh, Sandy Shores. And there's some uh, doodles there that might be alien related. So we're going to head over there right now. We got a sign right there that says, beam me up. And here are the uh, possible alien codes here. So. Um, we've checked this out. These could also be in reference to yoga positions and also uh, boobs and or testicles. Here we have a drawing of an alien. And now this, if these hippies really have seen an alien and know what it looks like, this could be an accurate representation of an alien. This dude wants to be beamed up. What does this say here? Take me up Uranus. So this guy, he uh, wants to be taken to Uranus. So it's possible that the aliens, if they do exist, it's possible that they come from Uranus and he wants to be taken to Uranus. Hey, man. hey how's it going? So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to these dudes here, see if we can get any uh, additional information on uh, alien life forms. Hey, buddy. hey, man. So uh, have you guys seen any UFOs around here? They don't want to talk, do they? You don't want to tell me? Y'all are getting real quiet now. So here we have other representations of aliens. And they do match the other drawings. Now these might just be some dreamers, but... They could also uh, be on something here. This might be some kind of code we got here. might be communicating with them. Welcome Space Brothers. Yep, they're trying to communicate with aliens as well. Okay, here's another symbol from Mount Chiliad. So I'm thinking these people must have went up to Mount Chiliad and put that map there because they got paint. They're caught red-handed, if you ask me. So here's another picture of a cloud. Looks like a rain cloud, some sort. I don't know what they're getting at with the rain cloud. There have been reports of seeing UFOs on Mount Chiliad while it's raining, so that could be representing that right there. I think these uh, hippies might know something that even the MIB men in black aren't aware of. So 
that's why I'm out here gathering information and instead of concealing it from the people I'm bringing it to the people okay there's another eye with a moon a moon and three stripes maybe you saw something at night maybe that's what he's saying they don't really say much but man they sure do uh, they sure do leave the clues Hell, maybe they uh, maybe they got an alien shacked up here somewhere. You never know. It ain't all hookers and criminals. That's what I would tell the aliens if I had a chance. It ain't all hookers and criminals out here. I hope uh, a lot of the criminal activity that we do have around here didn't scare them off. Whoa, we got some gang members in the tunnel here trying to start something. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of creepy. They could be aliens. You don't really know. You never really know.